Pilots will be allowed to skip the scanners and pat downs. But now lawmakers on both sides of the aisle want the TSA to take a second look at the way the rest of us are scanned. And they say the TSA has to do a better job of telling the American public what to expect at those checkpoints. They frisk, pat, and feel the wrath of passengers on a daily basis. I understand the passenger's concern. Our top priority is to protect the traveling public. Valeria Lewis is a TSA agent and a union official in Memphis. In going through training, every officer that does a pat down has had a pat down. So we've had that experience. We're comfortable with it. But many passengers don't like the experience. TSA agents have been questioned, screamed, even punched by passengers. Now, late night comics are taking their shots. I get more action going through security than I did during all of high school. When they go home, you know, to their wives, their girlfriends, and the guy goes, you know, not tonight, honey. I've been fondling people all day. But look at these pictures we shot today in the Denver airport. Look at them. They beg the question, is anything off limits? How close can TSA get? What can they touch? Most people don't know, so we asked. The TSA says that during a pat-down, a screener of the same sex will examine your head, shirt collar, waistband, and use either the front or back of their hand to feel your body, including your buttocks, breast, between your legs, feeling up to the top of the thigh. Some women may be asked to remove their skirt in a private screening area and will be given a gown or a towel to put on. It's hard enough for women to go to uh, their doctor and disrobe. Can you imagine the idea of trying to disrobe and uh, maintain your dignity? More than 600 complaints from passengers have been filed with the ACLU just this month, and the nightmare stories are circulating. This woman selected for extra screening because of her skirt. She ran her hand like this up the inside of my leg, and but she did it so hard and so rough that she lifted me, my heels up off the ground. And this mom from Ohio. She went down to the bottom of my legs and moved up my inner thighs and touched my genital area. As a law-abiding American citizen mom traveling with her baby, I should not have been subject to that sort of a search. And the day the congressman who wrote to the head of TSA said just that. They said only high-risk passengers should be forced to undergo those pat-downs, not grandmas. Treating everyone like a terrorist, they say, is a waste of money and a waste of resources. It is Diane. going to be a quite a weekend out there.